What's up everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create 3D glitch effect like this in Blender. So let's get started. First, we will add text and then type the word glitch. Now, let's select a uh, nice sci-fi font like this. Now I will, I will extrude this text a bit. Yeah, something like that and then let's add some depth like this yeah. so now let's rotate this text along the x-axis i will duplicate this text here for backup we will be converting this text to mesh okay now as you can see the topology is pretty messed up so to fix the topology we will add a mesh modifier and Add at a value of 0 0.008. Yeah, this looks fine. So we'll apply this offset modifier. Now you can see topology is very good. Let's select say smooth. Yeah, now it's looking good. Now we need to fracture this text in different segments. So first I will use this annotation. Now make sure you have the cell fracture. Error enabled. I have all I already have this enabled. So now select this text and go to object quick effects cell fracture. From the point source, uh select annotation pencil noise. Let's select one source limit. Let's set it to maybe 50. Yes. G scale a bit. Okay. So let's hit okay. So now we have some fractured parts of this text. First, I will erase these annotation lights. Okay, now that we have it, I will select all these parts and then let's move it to a new collection called Fracture. Now let's hide this fracture and let's add cube. I will create a geometry nodes editor here and let's disconnect this first then I will drag this fracture collection here and then click the separate children option and let's put it here now we have some issues with these cracks here so uh, I want to hide these cracks first enable the fracture collection and set this to individual origin let's scale it up a bit until we we don't see this these cracks the uh, i think this works now i'll hide the fracture collection and here i want to shift position of the segments individually to make the glitch effect so let's add a set position node in the offset i will use a noise texture now you can see it's shifting from the center so let's set a factor match set it to subtract and put the value to 0.5 let this fix this issue. Let's decrease scale a bit. Okay. This looks fine. To control this effect, I'll duplicate this vector map mode and set it to scale. If we set it to zero, we can see a normal text. And if we increase scale, we see a glitch effect happening. So now we will animate this effect. So let's create a timeline here. Okay, the end frame is to 80. So here in 20 frame 20, I will create a keyframe here. Then in 25, set it to 1. Maybe higher. And in frame 30, I will again set it to 0. So now if I play this, you can see this is not looking good. Maybe we can extend this a bit. To make it more random, we can set it to 40, then add a scene time node and plug the frames with a W value. Now if I, if we play this, now we get pretty cool glitch effect. So I think scale going too much overboard. So let's decrease it a bit. And let's decrease this scale. Now it looks pretty cool. We can also animate the scale. So let's add a scale instance and at frame 19 we'll set the scale to 1 
in a trend 27 we're going to just scale a bit yeah now it looks pretty cool i think now it's time to add some pretty cool materials to here so first let us realize these instances now i will and a set material node and here i'll create a new material called text click and i'll select this material here let's create a shader editor node and here i will increase the metal metallicness and the roughness that's just the word value a bit so we can add a noise texture this okay looks pretty cool so now to add an extra level of let's say the background transfer now to add an extra level of effect i will use another noise texture followed by a color ramp let's decrease the scale okay so now with the color first i will use the red color then here I will use purple color and in between I will add a bluish color okay then this looks good so this will go to the emission color and emission strength I'll set it to 5 here again so I think we will need to animate this emission strength at frame 19, I'll set the initial strength to 0. Then at frame 27, I'll set it to 5. And back and here in frame 35, I'll again set it to 0. So now if I play this animation, you can say it's going crazy. So like this, we have created a pretty cool 3D glitch effect in Blender. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check the links in the description for my 3D models and other products. So, see you next time.